Hello everybody. Uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gladwell Kozak. Uh, today I am going to make a banana bread. Uh, I've made one previously, um, but today I am just making a healthier version. Doesn't mean the other one was not uh, healthy, but just uh, this time around I am just going to use whole ingredients I'm going to use. My butter will be organic butter and I will add raisins. So let's crack on and I show you the ingredients that you need to make a nice moist banana bread. Um, here are all the ingredients that we need. Uh, I have uh, 300 grams whole wheat um, flour. I need just a little bit of a sip of lemon to mash my bananas. I have four bananas, ripe bananas. I have uh, brown sugar, cane brown sugar. Uh, is 75 grams because it's quite dense so I do not want to put the same measurements as I put when I'm using custard sugar which I usually use at 125 grams. So this is 75 so it will be um, not a very sweet cake but it will be uh, alternated the sweetness coming from the bananas and then I have um, raisins which I usually don't put but this time as well the sweetness from the raisins will also um, alternate the uh, the sugar that I'm using less and I also have uh, walnuts um, you need um, as as, you can, as I said before, I am using organic, so I am using organic butter. So you need um, half of this, so it's 125 grams that you need. Uh, melted butter, you need, uh, because I usually use self-raising flour, this is whole flour, is plain. So I will need, rather than one spoon, I will need uh, one and a half uh, teaspoons of baking powder. We will need four eggs and uh, yeah, we can crack on and start putting the things together. So I am getting ready my butter because I need to melt it. Uh, I, I left it out, it's on room temperature. So I need half of it. So as I said, this is an alternative healthier um, banana bread. Is moist um, because I'm using the cane sugar which has uh, is more solid than when you're using refined sugar so that I take and then I will beat my egg for them so I just prepare my wet ingredients Hey, young man, do you want to mix up the eggs for me? Yeah, why not? That would be good. As long as, as long as you're not splashing them over. Yeah, there you go. Beat them nicely. All right? Yeah, and meanwhile, I will take this and put it in the fire. So I'll just need to warm it up a little bit. So I'll just let it uh, warm up without boiling really. And uh, we are going now to go to our dry ingredients. So what we need to mix up the dry ingredients, we just need to mix our dry ingredients, sugar, and then I need to add one and a half of spoons of baking powder and then I mix them so we are all having kind of brown against brown against brown so when we mix them up with the wet they will all come out 
nice way. The good thing about making a banana bread, you don't need uh, mixers or anything. You just use a spoon or whatever you you have at your disposal to just mix up everything. And then after you've put your wet ingredients together, prepared your wet ingredients, then you mix them with your dry. That is that. So I will take my bananas. I usually use a little bit of splash of lemon so that the bananas do not turn color because if they're left out for too long, they tend to uh, yeah, I think it is good. they tend to change color. So I'll just mash them. Doesn't take long. That's why you need quite ripe bananas. So I always make sure at least I buy bananas and I make sure at the end of the week The ones which are looking almost black tanned color, those are the good ones for baking because they are already now having, they are very high in sugar in content. So this is a very, very, very simple way of making banana bread really so I can say they are nice and mushy enough for me yeah they are good to go So there I have my bananas. Uh, Batia has prepared my uh, beaten eggs for me, which is a wonderful thing. Thank you very much for being my helper. And now we will start mixing the dry ing ingredients together with the wet ones. I usually mix everything together from this point on. So what do I do? So I take my bananas. So those are my bananas. I put in my four beaten eggs. And then I put my melted butter and then I take and start mixing them together and there we go Remember, this is not your usual banana bread. This is having uh, is whole whole wheat banana bread, and rather than custard sugar, I have used uh, brown cane sugar, which is I use less first of all. So 
everything when you are doing with something different then uses less for me that mixture is good to go it doesn't take long so what you need is to add whatever uh, you need to add there is no um, this is what I like but there is no standard you can always add other different kinds of nuts so for me it's walnuts and raisins for now I usually uh, like also to add pecans uh, another time I, I, I even used uh, pistachios but uh, it wasn't very um, it wasn't my classic taste but yeah you can always try different things next time I will bake banana bread and put some some uh, chocolate uh, chips to see to tempt to see if my son will try the banana bread because he's he doesn't eat bananas that would be a good change yeah Bati what do you think not it's not going to happen nope. why not yeah so I will leave this one million, yeah but I will still take the taste yeah so that is the right consistency so what I need is now to just prepare my uh, baking tray so uh, in the oven you bake it for one hour ten minutes um, on an oven at 160 degrees centigrade I don't know what that is in American but you can always check and convert but uh, I am baking on centigrade so it's 160 for an hour and ten minutes so we'll just prepare the tin So uh, we're pouring out the banana mixture into the baking tray. So this is just exactly like uh, when you think about uh, whole, whole wheat uh, bread or pasta or yeah. So. It means that you are going to eat uh, less but you're going to be filled up longer so like if you're having a piece of banana uh, slice in the morning that can keep you till lunchtime because as you know when you're having whole stuff um, meal it tends to take longer to be processed and I will just decorate it a little bit with walnuts at the top just to give them a little bit different look and then our oven is ready we'll be good to go So my cake is ready. Uh, I've just switched off the oven. So let me grab it and let's see how it looks. Oh, I'm getting burned. So that is your banana bread. Uh, is whole, is brown. Uh, we will move it, remove it from the tin when it goes down so I will show you and I'll cut it through to just show you how it looks like 
uh, when it's all nice and cooled down. So uh, our banana bread is ready. Um, just look how lovely it's turned out. Um, as I said before, it's an alternative, healthier uh, version of my previous one. This one is whole, whole wheat uh, bread. And uh, so I will just cut it and see how it all turned out. Yeah, so there you go. Very nice. And I will be going to have my little break and um yeah you can see how lovely it is it doesn't take long to make and um i think uh, you should try the recipe so if you love uh or liked this uh, new recipe for the banana bread uh feel free to like subscribe share with your loved ones and please come back uh, for more um, baking ideas and other cooking tips as well as home and health related uh, topics. So, meanwhile, I wish you all well and I say God bless and till next time. Bye for now.